Hi and welcome back to Emmett's Collectibles. In today's video we're going to be looking at a mini Jurassic Park haul from the first film that I picked up last week uh, second hand and uh, I thought it might be interesting to share some of the, some of the items with you. Uh, no doubt you'll be already familiar with the, uh, the movie card box but uh, with the sticker book and the stationery set you, uh, you might not be so familiar with those items. So we're going to turn around and have a closer look at those two items and uh, see what we can see. So uh, starting with the sticker book, uh, I wasn't aware of the existence of this until it came up online. Uh, and uh, I kind of a, a bit of a sucker for stickers, sticker books anyway, so it was logical to, to pick this up. but. Um, it's just interesting, I've never seen it before, so well, let me just look at the front, it's kind of like a stock picture from the film, very typical of the early 90s, uh, some Crash McCreary concept artwork of a T-Rex and a Triceratops, and then if we look at the back, uh, these are kind of, um, again very typical of the early 90s, these are kind of uh, card cutouts. Uh, kind of dino fax cards so if you want to mangle your sticker book back in 1993 this is what you could do it's uh, most interesting I think for the the Crash Recruit concept art again um, and obviously I won't be uh, cutting these out just some general information the N UK two pound and the uh, the classic Jurassic Park logo and uh, if it's not Jurassic Park, it is extinct. So if we just have a look at the book, briefly. Uh, it's kind of one of these sticker books where you take a sticker out and you complete a scene. So the scenes are kind of in black and white. And uh, it makes the image pop a bit more. I think that's what they were going for back in the day. Another kind of promotional image from the film. It's in mint condition. Um, it obviously came from a private collection. This, so it's in perfect condition. It's basically like new. Um, so yeah, just put the sticker and makes the image pop. Uh, pretty simple. It's kind of just black and white with this blue kind of border, but um, yeah, be interesting. And again, like I said, a very early 90s aesthetic, which I appreciate. Uh, I know, it's just very nostalgic. And that's interesting because that's not something that we see in the film. So there must be an outtake or something there. I'm not quite sure. So it's pretty short, it's just a sticker activity book. Uh, kind of more of the stickers. It's pretty basic stuff, but again, it's in mint condition, so not to have it really. I think this is the last pick. And then at the back then, you got kind of more general stickers. And uh, I love these. These are very, uh, very of its time, but uh, no, they're great. I especially like the Dilophosaurus sticker. But um, yeah, complete set. It's like new, obviously I'll keep it uh, as is. And uh, just a nice little curio, I think. And on to the stationery set. The stationery set originally retailed for £1.29p, as it would have been, because this is in Ireland. 
So it's the Dilophosaurus that you can make out the fins at the back. I can't get it to show because it's obviously sealed and I'm going to keep it sealed. But the T-Rex is... Uh, <laughs> the T-Rex is something. It's, it's, it's so bad it's good. But uh, I especially like the colour, the colouring around the background, uh, the red and the black. That's why I remember when I was a school kid, it was very vivid. And uh, the pencil especially, I remember, I'm the, uh, it's a school kid. I might have borrowed it from a, from a friend or something, but I definitely remember using it. And you got the eraser there. And on the back, you do have, actually, a little map and a new blur. And um, Dilophosaurus album at the back and uh, yeah it's like a nice little added detail back in the day and it's still sealed of course and um, yeah just a nice little thing to have I got this lot for 30 euro uh, so yeah I couldn't really pass it down it's this kind of material kind of promotional material I'm mostly interested in not really interested in collecting the dinosaur figures as such, I have a handful, but um, this is kind of promo material that I, that I find most interesting. Now the card box is empty, and I bought it just as it is, because the guy that I bought this of, uh, the cards are all sealed, but when he was selling this uh, online, he actually opened up all the cards, all the card um, packages. So the value obviously dramatically dropped when he did that. Um, so I already have a few cards kind of sealed. So I decided to just get the box and I'd use this as a display piece for the card packets that I already have and I'll probably get more on eBay loose as time goes on. But yeah, I mean, it's just a simple piece of cardboard, but it, I mean, it's just so iconic and evocative of that time. And uh, honestly, it's probably one of my favorite display pieces. And uh, this pops up. Up as well, so 25p back in the day, and this is actually manufactured here in Ireland in Cork, as you can see there. So I did not know that. I would have thought that it would have been shipped in from the UK, but it wasn't, and there was actually a Tops factory that produced these cards in Cork, which has since closed. So. Um, I just thought that was interesting. And can you imagine 25p back in the day? Uh, it just shows you how, uh, how times have changed. So, that's it for this one. Uh, just thought that maybe some of you might remember these pieces from back in the day. And I thought I'd share with you. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers. Thank you for watching.